It's a welcome guest here from the Arab world. We say marhaba. We're pushing back, folks. <laughs> to you all from the Emirates Lounge here at Melbourne Airport, Melbourne International Airport. It's uh, very peaceful here just now, um, just after six o'clock in the morning. I find the Emirates Lounge is very consistent around the world. Very nicely appointed business centre, I must say. If you have to catch up on email or other work-related matters before your flight. Beautiful breakfast spread on offer here at the Emirates Lounge here at Melbourne Airport. Hash browns, chipolatas, sautéed mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, my goodness. That's better than some breakfast buffets in very nice hotels. Terrific view here of the Emirates A380 that's just touched down from Dubai and will now take me to Auckland this morning. It's always such a treat to visit the Qantas First Lounge and uh, even travelling with Emirates in first class you can enjoy it whilst waiting for your flight here in uh, Sydney or Melbourne. Probably some of my most favourite airport lounges in the whole world. Just um, very beautifully appointed, very nicely done. And over here in the Qantas First Lounge, it's an a la carte menu for breakfast. The, this is the autumn uh, breakfast menu. We've got fruit salad, toasted muesli, burka muesli, buffalo milk yogurt with figs and toasted coconut buttermilk pancakes. Yum! selection of breads there and a range of egg options. I'm having poached eggs with spinach, avocado and smoked salmon. Nice selection of tea and coffee 
and uh, some cocktails there too. The signature selection of champagne options, which are even available uh, right now, very early in the morning. The Tatanger Brut Reserve, the Veuve Clicquot, Perrier Jouet Grand Brut, and the Mum Rosé. Believe it or not, though, I'm uh, going to pass on the bubbles here in the lounge and um, have a glass of bubbly once I'm on board. What a beautiful way to start the day before my Emirates flight. As you can see, smoked salmon, avocado, poached eggs and spinach. My most favourite breakfast on a plate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present my interpretation of Emirates A380 First Class by overwhelmingly popular request here on my channel. Let's do it, shall we? This is my seat, which I will have great delight in showing you all very soon. And if you're, um, Travelling with someone else, the paired seats in the middle, the paired suites, are probably a good option. Timeless Spa. Yes, the Timeless Spa product will be available for your shower. Okay. And the Temple Spa product will be available in here, if I may. Yes. Temple Spa. Temple oh, yes, spa yes, yes. It's just right over here for you. Thank you very much. You're as welcome, it's yeah. my pleasure. Great. I've got to try this, don't I? More on that a little later. Ooh. Wow, my own personal minibar with some Pepsi, some Voss, some cranberry juice, sparkling water, and my own glass. Very nice. I do rather like that, I must say. I never had a minibar before. my own little basket of tricks here, some mints, some pretzels, some chocolate, some macadamia nuts. Nice. It's a welcome guest here from the Arab world. We say marhaba. I might have one with an almond in it. Certainly you may. Thank you. That's... It acts as a natural sweetener for the Arabic coffee. Arabic coffee, yeah. We're pushing back, folks. Greetings from EK406. Best part of the flight. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times I do it, I still absolutely love the takeoff. Especially on this aircraft.
Sweet, nice and private. Or you can keep them open. How about that? Shall we indulge in a nice chilled glass of the 2004 Dom Perignon? All the champagne lovers out there will will uh, appreciate this, I'm sure. Here it is now. Would you look at that? Dom Perignon for you today. It's 2004. Look at those beautiful bubbles, hey? Yes, they are. Oh, that's lovely. Cheers, everybody. The menu comes in a lovely leather compendium here in Emirates First Class. And uh, if you go to the Melbourne, Auckland section, we've got breakfast, fruit juice, orange or grapefruit, fruit yogurt, cereals, Breakfast fruit, which I'm going to have, yogurt, cereal, and a selection of main courses, the cheese and chive omelette, twice-baked souffles, ricotta crepes, breakfast platter, which I think is just uh, cold cuts, a breakfast basket, of course, bread basket, rather, and uh, tea and coffee. I think I'm going to have the breakfast fruit and the cheese and chive omelette. Uh, but you know I love it when you write in and tell me what you would have chosen, so do be sure to do that. Always keen to know what y'all would have eaten. So I've just had my breakfast starter served, which as you can see is a fruit plate with blueberry, kiwi, grapefruit, pineapple, orange and strawberry. It looks very tasty. Some fresh OJ there. Some salt and pepper shakers and some butter and some preserves. Beautifully done. Some of my favourite fruits in there. I love kiwi fruit. Have I told you that before? I like blueberries too. Nice. Almond roll and also the croissant. Banana bread, cinnamon roll, or croissant. It's a tough choice. You may choose two. <laughs> no. You may try three of them as well. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, that looks great. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheese and chive omelette with, let me read it from the menu, grilled chicken sausages, potato rusty, baked beans, and roasted tomato. Yummo! I'll let you know how it tastes in just a minute. I don't know how they can cook the omelettes so perfectly on aeroplanes, because I I try to cook an omelette at home and it, it it's often an absolute disaster, but um, I, whenever I'm flying and I have an omelette, and it's quite a, quite a common thing to see on breakfast menus when flying, um, it's just cooked to perfection. Very tasty. Um, cheese is sort of semi-melted so um, it has a nice nice consistency to it mixed in with the eggs and the crunch of the potato rusty and the sweetness of the roast potato very good everything you need for a beautiful hearty breakfast in the morning time so I definitely recommend if you see the cheese and chive omelette when next you're flying with Emirates it's a good choice. Ah, 
what have we got here? The ricotta crepes. It's a very decadent breakfast option, I must say. Looks very good. Nice choice. The magic begins here. 38,000 feet. So once you open, very easy operation, very basic. Yes. You can see a small button of on and off. Okay. Just by the side, just click on it. Yep. Just press on it. And there's hot water and cold water. So to the left and anti-clockwise. And it shows you how much time you've got remaining up here. That will be here. five minutes of running water. Okay. If you wish to have more water, please let us know. We'll reset the whole thing and you'll get ten minutes. Come along. <laughs> <laughs> there's a single button here for you to press. There's a small indication sound. Okay. And push it up. Oh, awesome. And switch on. Thank you. Okay. Floor temperature. So this is just to be on the safe side. This is average, which is six, but you can decrease it if it's too hot. You will only feel it if it's getting too hot once you step up for the shower. Okay. Because of the cold and heat. Yeah. But the furthest it can go is nine, nine degrees. Okay. And it's to too hot. Safe. Yeah. yeah so let's make it six, just like before. Okay. And just in case, if you're reading a book. <laughs> if you want to settle in in the shower spa, you can see where we are at. Yes. <laughs> and if it's get bumpy, if you don't feel safe, sit down on the bladder top and hold with the two handrails. Okay. Okay. All right. That's just the safety aspect. All right. And the other rest, I think we're done with the introduction. You've got to try this seriously. <laughs> So in case you wondered what the Emirates first class suite looks like as a fully flat bed, here you go. So it goes fully flat. All the way flat. You would certainly sleep very well, yes. I think. And the divider in the middle goes up it if goes you're up sitting, well, yes. if you're sitting, um, you don't know the person next to you, you can put the divider up. Single button, single touch. One touch. And it's very private, especially if you close the doors. Yes, Thank you very much for that little tour. Don't worry about <laughs> it, my pleasure. <laughs> oh, awesome. So there you are, everybody. I'm sure you'll agree, that would just be wonderful on a long flight, like to the US or to London. So this is the world famous bar area on the luxurious Emirates A380 where you can sit down whilst flying and uh, have a cocktail. It's really quite amazing actually. I never saw anything like this on an airplane before. And Mr. Bartender has politely set everything up. Look at this. Some olives and some nuts and some cheese uh, breadsticks there too and some sandwiches what a way to fly eh? Hey? take a look at how far you can recline as well oh yes why not this one yeah. it's the same like in first class it goes all the way flat 90 degrees so you'd be very comfy in business class on the h on emirates too yes correct i think that's enough of a tour right head back to Sri Alpha, as I think we are top of descent right now. Well, thank you for choosing the Emirates stand for your flight. We hope you enjoy it. I'm glad you uh, wish you could stay in the comfortable way with your mom's this might be. Once again, thank you very much, and I'll see you again. So while everyone else is reading the newspaper, I'm sitting here reading acne and rosacea. Those of you who know me know that uh, helping people improve the appearance of their skin is the absolute love of my life. I love doing that even more than I love flying. And um, looking forward to being in beautiful New Zealand and um, hello to my subscribers from New Zealand and also my... Um, my wonderful customers as well. It's an absolute pleasure to be in your part of the world today.
here in Emirates first class on the A380. Hello. You've got your own vanity mirror and this great little travel well kit. And as you can see, it has various moisturizers, one for your face, body, and one for your feet. And also these cool little sniff boxes, uh, which you can smell and uh, either drift off to sleep or uh, focus on the task at hand. Very good if you're working and very good if you're on a long haul flight for example and you need to sleep. So there you go. And I will of course be giving one of these away in my signature giveaway so keep watching and I'll uh, tell you all about that in just a moment. the Auckland CBD down here, the Auckland Sky Tower, I love it when the plane turns. KA380. I think that one's come from Sydney. And it looks like we're going to pull up next door. Yes, we are. As you walk in, there's a lovely uh, sofa and a nice um, full-size business uh, desk there, uh, which is terrific if you are uh, travelling for business. The nice seat over there, and perhaps the best feature of any room at any Sofitel anywhere worldwide, well, I certainly think, is the legendary Sofitel My Bed. And uh, I find these Sofitel my beds supremely comfortable. I, I, you'll sleep like a baby on on these beds. Believe me. Um, one of the main reasons, actually, that I tend to seek out Sofitel hotels more and more these days when I'm travelling. Let's take a look at the bathroom, shall we? It's very nice. Uh, as you walk in, you have a lovely full-size shower area um, with a great shower head that you can adjust various different settings a nice vanity area with a good sized sink and uh, marble fittings and have a look at that a lovely deep soaking bathtub very nice um, very nice bathroom Indeed. And my most favourite part of putting these videos together is my signature giveaway. And uh, given that this particular video has been requested by so many of you for so very long, I thought I might up the ante with my giveaways. I have a travel well kit, I have some Bulgari amenities, I have a writing kit, I have this amazing Boeing 777-300 model 
aircraft comes with a beautiful stand and the attention to detail on the on the paintings and on the paintwork and everything on it and the wheels and everything it looks it looks it, it looks spectacular i might actually take it out of the box and show it to you just now take a look and um so today i'm also going to be giving away two bottles of my very own amazing anti-acne formula prima facie I know many of you already use this, which I think is amazing, uh, but for those of you who perhaps are struggling with the appearance of your skin and uh, you're yet to try it, this giveaway is perfect for you. So, all you have to do, as per usual, is uh, just be one of the first people to write in uh, with what I consider to be my most, amongst my most favourite comments, and it would be my great pleasure to uh, reward you with one of these great little gifts. A very lovely treat and a lovely way to arrive home. I'm just going to put those on. Nice. Might do a few more. <laughs> Here she is on a very wet and rainy day in Auckland. Welcome back to Sweet 3A, everybody, for the return journey now. Dates. <laughs> yes, one with the almond. <laughs> and I've just had my Emirates first class slippers delivered. There are some very high winds in Auckland this evening and uh, I can actually feel the aircraft sort of being buffeted around even on the ground whilst we're waiting for uh, takeoff. Spiced salmon with roasted green grapes and lemon mayonnaise. Oh, you even turned the plate around for me. Look at that. Enjoy. I sure will. And uh, this one is the roast lamb loin served with lamb jus, lemon, marinated fava beans, sautéed spinach and mashed potato with garlic and chives. I will do my very best to try a little piece of each, but I certainly don't think I'm going to be able to fit all of that in. The Hennessy Privé. Exactly. <laughs> I found a handful of Emirates menus from various different Emirates flights I've uh, taken over the years. So I'm back in the Shells Bar. What a spectacular in-flight experience. I've absolutely loved it. I mean, I always love to fly, but this is one flight I really don't want to get off. <laughs> So there you are my friends, you can't write in and tell me that I haven't done Emirates on my channel now. <laughs> and it was an absolute pleasure. I don't know why I waited so long. Perhaps I just might do it again. Wherever you are in the world, take care. Thank you as always for your wonderful comments and interest in my journeys and uh, I look forward to sharing another journey with you all again sometime very soon.